Hey everybody, this is JJ. So right now what I have for you is just a real quick tip, a uh, real quick urban survival tip on a way to keep uh, burglars and thieves and stuff like that from getting easy entry into your home. Um, this is something that I think a lot of people do and just don't think about. So I just figured I'd point it out and see if maybe it's a way that might help make you guys a little bit safer. All right, stick with me and we'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see, this is the interior of my truck. Uh, pretty basic truck. And one of the things, or the thing that I'm talking about here is specifically the garage door opener. You know, a lot of people will leave a garage door opener, you know, up on their visor or, you know, down in a console or something like that. And it can actually be seen, you know, from anybody looking in on the outside. Well, as you can imagine, the problem with that is that all they got to do is pop the glass in your car and, uh, and then they can open the garage door, they close the garage door behind them, and then they have entry into your house and nobody really is going to notice it from the outside. Uh, you know, broken window in a car, uh, especially if they knock all the glass out, um, you know, it just looks like the window's down from the road from somebody driving by. So anyhow guys, I uh, just recommend that you take your garage door openers and you put them at least in the console or somewhere out of sight or take them inside. You know, that's even better. Just take them in with your keys when you come and go and that kind of thing. Um, just kind of an overlooked thing that I thought you guys might want to uh, might want to think about. All right guys, take it easy. And as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end. If you're still here now, then that tells me you might have a little extra time on your hands and maybe you can go check out some of these other cool channels. Uh, these guys are great guys. They are really trying to give back to uh, the Second Amendment movement, and I think you're going to find a lot of cool stuff on their channels uh, from gear reviews to survival, prepping, and good old fashioned comic relief, competitive shooting, just a whole array of outdoor type activities and things that manly men like. So check them out.